Today, I'm going to show you how to do this cool little 80s transition in Adobe Premiere. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, I've got an extra tip for you at the end of this video, so stick around friends. Alright, so the other day I was playing around with some 80s-ish footage and I came up with this fun little transition here. Which would work in, say, a music video or maybe even a commercial. And it's really easy to do, so I thought I'd share how I did it. The best part is you can do this transition all in Adobe Premiere, and it doesn't require any plugins. So let's get to it. So crack open Premiere. I'm in version 15.2, and yours might look a little different if you have an older or newer version. And here I have these two shots of this woman roller skating. And I already have a nice little edit here where she's turning, which feels pretty good on its own, but I want to make the piece pop a bit more. So I'm going to kick it up a notch with this funky transition. So the overall plan with this transition is to make a clip of the last four frames of the first shot, then we'll duplicate it, stagger them, and make each one different. So we'll have a red, green, and a blue version. Okay, so step one. Let's isolate the last four frames of your first shot you can do this by putting your playhead at the edit point, then hit the back arrow on your keyboard four times to walk the playhead back four frames. Hit C on the keyboard to bring up the razor tool and cut your first clip where your playhead is. Then let's duplicate this little clip and put the copy on video layer 2. If right now you only have one layer of video, you can add additional video tracks to your sequence by going to the Sequence menu at the very top of your screen and scroll down to Add Tracks. So to duplicate your clip, hit V on the keyboard to bring up the Selection tool, select your clip, then Option drag on a Mac or Alt drag on a PC to Video Layer 2. Repeat this process again to put another copy on Video Layer 3. Okay, so now you should have the same little four frame clip on three layers. Now let's stagger them by dragging them like so, so it looks like stairs. Now we're going to change the color of each four frame clip by using the arithmetic effect. So let's do a search in the effects tab for the arithmetic effect, spelled A-R-I-T-H-M-E-T-I-C, and we'll see it pop up below. Now let's select it and put it on each of our four frame clips by dragging it to each clip. Now we're going to modify the effect on each clip so that we have three versions, a red one, a green one, and a blue one. So we'll start with the bottom one by double clicking on it and going to the effect controls tab. And under the arithmetic tab, let's slide the red value all the way up to 255 and keep the other two colors at zero. You can see that the clip has this cool red effect now. So next, let's go up to video layer 2, select our second little clip, and we'll modify it in the same manner. Except for this time, we're going to slide the green value to 255, and leave the other colors at 0. And if you look at the second clip now, it's looking pretty cool. And lastly, we'll modify the clip on video layer 3 by boosting the blue value by clicking on the clip and pushing the blue value up to 255. And now, if you play it down, you've got a pretty cool effect. But wait, there's more. I'd like to take the very last little clip and mess with the blend mode so that the bottom layer shows through a bit, just to give that transition a little extra. So highlight your Video 3 layer clip and go to the Effect Controls tab. And under Opacity, let's change the Blend Mode to Linear Dodge. And now you see that bottom layer peeking through a bit, but in this blown out whitish way, which looks pretty cool. And we'll do that just for only this last little clip. So now we have a cool 80s pop fun trippy transition. Sweet. 
And there you go. All right, let's do a quick tip. One of the most common mistakes I see my first year students make is using too many transitions. In fact, sometimes students will put a transition between every shot or every other shot, which is overkill. And sometimes the piece doesn't need them at all. You see, when this happens, that transition overload takes away from the piece as a whole. What will happen is that the audience starts paying attention to those crazy transitions and not to the story. So as a general General rule, I only use a transition if the piece feels like it needs something more. For example, if it's feeling a little slow or static, or maybe it needs a cleaner break between two sections. So only use a transition if you're watching your piece down and it feels like it needs something more. Because transitions are a little like frosting. Use too many of them and you ruin the cake. All right, friends, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.